So, you see the character. Zero from Katana Zero. In this game, we already have a Katana. So, the guest item for this character is not one of those. It's a thrown object to henceforth we shall call Yeetable. You throw a Yeetable at an enemy only if you have the ammo for it. If you don't have ammo, you have to kill them some other way. Once you kill them, you start replenishing ammo and you can start to roll the Yeetables a little bit depending on how good it is. Um, so as much as I would have liked to play Katana, I want to make this purely a Yeetable showcase. Um, this thing can pierce. So right now we have pierce first target. Um, it can also get bonus ammo. As well as a few other things. Um, now it is half green. And it does a bonus effect of stunning the target. So it seems extremely good to use this in a um, survival build. But I don't want to do that. Remember, just like how we did with the baseball bat, you all already know how good the green version is. You don't need to see it. So my ultimate goal for this run is to find a way to simply kill every monster <laughs> with just the Yeetable. Now, we're probably not going to get to the power level where this thing can just start one tapping stuff for a little while. I want to believe that that world exists if I get a double damage one. Not quite, not quite. We're almost there. But see how it does such a long stun? I have sort of a fate survival setup going on right now, but if this was a real thing, it would be legit. We need incentive. I think Arboretum has incentive. I need as much money as I can get. If I were to choose a map that has weaker HP enemies, I want to say it's Toxic Sewers. We'll do Arboretum. We can't do our we, we can't do Prison... No. We can't do Promenade because of shielded enemies. Our Yeetable is going to suck there. Yo, what about this transition music, though? Alright, so the first mutation we're gonna take... Easy pick Tranquility here. Remember, our whole goal is to just kill the monster as soon as it comes up on the screen. <laughs> you can't do that on this map. If we had the double damage one, I probably could do it. We, we didn't get lucky, unfortunately. But we're fine, we're fine. Yo, look at that transition. Now, the other cool idea with this weapon is the idea that you can pair it with Kill Rhythm. Definitely, like, throwing one at a bat or a rat is probably the most entertaining part. It has really good tracking on it, too. Really makes you feel like you're playing Katana Zero. Look at this. If I can manage to get the damage and the stats, I think you all are in for a treat. Though to be fair, like, I don't know if this is going to work the way I hope it does. Now, typically, I would say Corrupted Power is cheating. Um, but I think the way how I want this to work, Corrupted Power is almost... almost required. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about it fizzling. I get it, it's probably OP if it just goes across the entire screen. But seeing it, like, just fade to nothingness, that's a little odd. I think I'd rather see it, uh, like, fall to the ground. Okay, so we found the Corrupted Power, which is part C, C for Corrupted Power in my plan to make, like, this build swim through the map. Oh, out of ammo? 
Do I not get the ammo back if I use Corrupted Power? Activate. No, I am. I don't know what I saw. Mutation number two. We have Tranquility, which already does bonus damage while we are far from the enemy. Um, throwing objects, the yeetables don't crit, so Instincto doesn't work. But what I'm thinking is if we take Hunter's Instinct, that's more corrupted powers, which would be more yeets. I hope. 15%. Removing the needle ever so slightly. I have ammo. Oh, headshots. I was saying, how am I not getting my ammo back? It's like if it dies to the bleed, I don't get the ammo back. It's kind of toxic. It's like, it's interesting. Definitely not a weapon that can just kill stuff this early. not have any ammo on anything all right that was uh that was not good see my idea was yeet and then shoot but it didn't work out uh so i think we can do conjunct conjunct gives us ammo back the goal is to kill everything with just the eatable I, I hope it will still work out. You know what I think I'm gonna take? I think I need to spend a bunch of money. Crap, do I need point blank? At least the point blank, if I get right up close to an enemy, it should do something. Nice block, that was sick. That's a gamer. kind of cool you can sort of throw it straight up very very good anti-bat like i don't even want to ask how does it look so far because i feel like this is not what i want to show not yet not yet look like i just threw a carrot i'm dead wow i didn't die what's this song it's a jam i'll hook you up in just a second but well, all the music that you're hearing today is modded music from the Katana Zero soundtrack. I am struggling with the ammo. See, like, I didn't get ammo back just then. It must have died to fire or something. Used it in a while. Oh, little Staffy is interrupting my kills. We gotta get rid of little Staffy. Okay. I think we're online. I think the build's finally online. Oh, that sucks. That's 50% damage loss. So we do need something to kill bosses. That is definitely a, a very, very um, prompt need right now. I won't say I can't kill the boss. It's just the Yeetables aren't going to do it on their own. We have to keep this. Though I still feel like if it dies to the flame, it's not going to give me my ammo. I can't prove that, but for some reason, I feel like that's going to happen. All right, so we're going into Conjunctivious. Um, I know that this weapon works. We have... Five stuns we can do. Five stuns and then the tentacle spawn, which is gonna let us get some ammo back. Oh my god. Seizure warning? Devs. Did anyone else see that? The bright lights? Oh, okay. I missed. it down out of ammo oh no 
I'm out of ammo on everything. All right, that's not gonna work. That's what the magic missile is for. Because guaranteed there's gonna be some monsters that the eatable isn't gonna cut it. Go pick it up the base. enough tentacles oh wow that almost got me oh that's why the turrets killing them if the turret kills them I don't get the ammo close Oh. Alright, there we go. I was kind of scared I was going to get toe hold there. If you get direct hits on the tentacles, if it's not from your weapon directly, it doesn't recharge. Kind of awful. Same? So to be fair, if I didn't have a turret down, it would have been a non-issue, so perhaps it's my fault. It's kind of a get good moment. Definitely can't go slumbering. That's a death sentence. The giant's gonna have- oh, the golem. The golem's gonna have too much HP. The lacerators there can deflect the bullet. So all around bad, I think. I think it would be less awful if the stipulation was in the weapon's description. The recharge one ammo when you kill an enemy? Or do you mean like must kill enemy with primary equipment? Skills don't count. In which case you may wonder, is there a world where some skills should count? Status effects count towards that too? Uh oh. Fire, poison. Alright, <laughs> we gotta get our ammo back. And then will be good. I also need 5% HP. So I can deal 50% damage. Okay, so that monster fell. And because it fell, I didn't actually get ammo. I guess if you think about it, Katana Zero style. You don't want monsters to just like fall and die. You're like the uber elite. Oh, there's the 5%. Okay, now we cannot get hurt anymore. See? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. My god, I gotta eat this. Back in university, we had this high-speed internet. 2006, by the way. So, like, before high-speed internet was available to everyone, like, back at home, we still had dial-up. So, this campus had a file-sharing system in place that all students had access to. Because I had not really a modded PS2, more so, like, I bought equipment that allows you to play DVD-Rs and save them to the PS2. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button because I was talking too much. I was downloading ISOs. And like, I'm saying this, like, I'm sure you all are thinking, V, like, downloading games? I download ROMs on my mom's tablet daily. It's like, you don't get it. This was 2006. I had dial-up at home. This was, like, otherworldly to me. Magic, if you will. Like, I thought I was tapping into NASA. 
Uh, during middle school, I had a second old phone. Or so had PSP emulator. That's a gamer right there. Honestly, anyone with a PSP or a uh, PS Vita is like automatically a gamer to me. Like, no offense to all my Nintendo DS fans out there, but I think you had to be on some extra sauce to buy a PSP. <laughs> and actually play the games on it, too. Uh, I think we go set poker here. All the enemies there have very low HP. I should one-shot every enemy on this map, Copium. Like, there's tiny monsters. Bats? Dark Stalkers? Inquisitors? Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, there we go. Mummy check. I mean, tell me this isn't sick. Tell me this build isn't hypey. It took a little while to go live. But like now, we're kind of there. Yes, this is Katana Zero soundtrack. This is a modded soundtrack, so this is not added with the crossover update. We kind of put this in for this um, showcase. We're live. The build's online. All right. So as much as I want to do the giant here, the yeetable's not going to do anything there. Um... Scarecrow, same deal. It does give you ammo back during the Scarecrow fight, but because Scarecrow can't be stunned, I don't really want to do it. So we're going to go to S Timekeeper instead. Timekeeper can be stunned, and the Wings of the Crow is going to be like more important in that fight. Copium. Um, we're probably going to do a lot of Magic Missile, just to say that. So, I would love a magic missile that does bonus to Electrify target. Okay. 50% while you're full was better. Be nice if I could have both, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Bonus to stun target. With the yeetable. Interesting, interesting. Synergy? Uh, would I change money mutation now? I still feel like... I need one more biome to get double damage. Uh, but I would like to see like the ultimate vision of the build go live at some point. Thrown object does 55,000 DPM. We don't know what it does per shot, but still sounds like a big item. All right, let's get in here. Timekeeper can be stunned. So the yeetable does do something. Oh, this music? I didn't mean to come down. This thing has really good tracking to it. No! Oh! Floor is lava! Oh, I didn't roll through. <laughs> Doubters and shambles? Spoke too soon, by the way. Alright, alright, alright. So, I mean... If I didn't touch the floor... We were fine. If I had maybe a... Kill Rhythm? I mean, obviously... The mutation, the bonus money, isn't doing anything. So if that bonus money was... Literally anything at all... It would have been actually kind of sick. How do you get this skin? If you're playing on the PC or console version of Dead Cells and you get all of the other crossover skins, I mean skins, but all the other crossover stuff before this, just the weapons, um, eventually you'll get a new kiosk in Prison Quarters that talks about crossover volume two, which has all of this stuff for Katana Zero, Risk of Rain, Slay the Spire, etc. Um, this one in particular requires you to kill enemies with Katana's crit without getting hit. 
Um, the number is supposedly 15, but there's a lot of stuff that might interfere with that. So just keep critting enemies until you get it in prison quarters. If you don't get it before you get out of prison quarters, just restart. I think high peak is a little too tanky. If I go here, I have to fight servants. Is probably okay? Famous last words. Yo. Bible thumps. Oh, no ammo? Yeah, this is a- oh my god, I do no damage now. No mercy could be good here. I need to be full HP. To do 50% bonus damage. Oh. Get yeeted? There are two enemies in front of me and I got no ammo for it. Oh, no mercy. For some reason, I read that as the HP mutation. My bad. You're right. That could actually be good. But beforehand, I was just one-shotting this stuff once I was full HP. Now I have to press two buttons. Oh, God. <laughs> when it's come with this world. Back in my day, I only had to press one button. I'm sure you're all are gonna think, well, V, like, this looked really, really good when you one-tapped everything and you were just running through the game. When you were running up that hill through the game. Sick. Now, I mean, Stranger Things is over. The joke doesn't really land anymore. You're also not getting ammo sometimes. Oh my god. Rotate. I killed three things and got no ammo. Yeah, there's something in here. That's like breaking. I don't know what it is yet, but I can feel it. The electricity is redundant, but only the dot is. Which like the dot, we don't really care about. And you want to care a little bit, but it's more important that we just deal constant AOE versus servants. So we're a little low on HP. I really didn't get a ton of thrown items back and like yeah if we went to spoiler then there's a chance that we could get back some throwables um during the ad phase but we'll have three versus the queen there's like a little odd still a eatables as an item is fun conceptually and it executed excellently as well is that a compliment i like compliments uh, final build is support Tranquilo. I don't know if I'm out of range with Wings of the Crow. I really don't. I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I really, really don't want to use point blank. Um, and then we'll disengage. Alright, servants. Some good music. Oh, hear that intro? Okay. Servants. Don't troll. Don't even bother interacting with them. Just let the Tesla do all the work, I think. Wait, was there different music? That's super cool. Has there always been a platform there? 
I don't think I'm actually hitting her. Whoa, Miles Morales or Spider Gwen? Is who is that? Does anyone know what Spider Gwen's real name is? Not Felicia Hardy. That's that's Black Cat. I mean, is her name just Gwen? Gwen Stacy? I'm not a real fan. I'm a fake fan. Oh my god. I went right into that. Oh, Gwen Stacy in the building. All right. It's a hard no hit. Also helps that you don't actually like go into the bullet that's coming at you. Um, someone was asking, why am I using magic missile? The reason why is that I needed a build that works specifically on bosses. Oh, that sucks. I should have looked at the health first. And it's regular cheese. I need a build that works specifically on bosses so that I don't have to worry about the biome because I'm using the Yidl. I'm going to try to use it here. See, they just leave. Just deactivate it. Ooh, slow mo? Yeah, she can't really be hurt while she's doing that. As cool as that would be, it's just not possible. Alright, there we go. I got... I got no... Yeetables back. I am sitting at zero. I'll, I'll just take this. I mean... <laughs> So I wanted to use it versus the queen. The whole idea was I'm going to kill the three servants and then I'll have three bottles to throw at the queen. That's apparently not possible. Or portable, maybe. Can I get poison cloud? There we go. G should be an easy clap with something like this. If she survives, then I don't know what to tell you. She cheats. Do you think Hannah King plus spoiler or Queen Path is harder? So it's definitely build dependent. You have your choice between High Peak or other stuff. And once you're actually at the bosses, once again, build dependent. But I would say Hannah King is probably just an overall easier fight than servants are. Now, Queen versus spoiler. In a lot of ways, I say spoiler is harder because you don't have as much time to practice against them. Queen might be easier because you have two tries. So I'd say at the start, spoiler is harder and then spoiler will probably become easier than queen. You have a clear view of the island, but I don't have any yeetable, so I don't care. Just throw me off the freaking top of this thing. I'm done. What life is worth living without eatables? Ooh, it's music. You again. So stubble. Huh. No. No. Me, you can't do this. All right, we gotta rate the build. And by build, I mean rate the eatables. 
I'm gonna guess no one is gonna put this under a D. Now, just to like outline how I play that. I play this tactics, or the tactics version, is you want the broken glass to kill somebody. Now you could you could do your rating for the survival version. I'm perfectly okay with that, but we could at least showcase this aspect of it, which is not gonna be shown very often, I'm sure. Um, in the biome, we just run, toss, we had corrupted power. If you have 50% bonus damage while you're full, it does very well. You can maybe go for double damage if you can find that. It pierces. Once you get to bosses, Conjunctivious, it stuns that. It does stun Timekeeper. Stuns the Servant for a little bit. I don't know if it stuns the Queen because by then you have no ammo. So, you know, it, it, cash a vote, cash a vote. 